Well, good morning, and welcome to another episode of Thrifting for Profit and Pleasure. I'm Robert Housefield. We're here today at the Habitat for Humanity Restore. This is one of my favorite thrift stores. You're going to have a lot of fun going through with me at all these treasures. So come on, let's go see what they have to offer today. And here we are, I'm Robert Housefield, and this is Brad, the manager of the Habitat for Humanity Restore. Brad is a welcome face and a nice smile to look for when you're at the store. Now, if you have any questions, typically Tracy, who's at the desk, will probably meet her, is she here today? I'm not sure she's gonna be here until maybe another 20 minutes or so. Okay, well, they have some very helpful staff that are happy to help you out with any needs you have. But if you have some question that they can't answer, Brad's usually available to answer any other questions. Let's go on inside and see what treasures we can find today. As an added bonus, be sure you check the color of the week. Each week, I'm not sure when it changes, but you'll have a 50% off, a 25% off, and then just as marked. But uh, I always look for the 50% first because that's the best deals in my opinion. All right, we're kind of going to pass the furniture up for right now. I don't have my trailer, so I don't see anything that's staring at me saying, take me home, take me home right now. But usually there is something back in the tool section. I buy a lot of tools here. Um, I prefer to have cordless and corded products as opposed to gas products. So they get a lot of those type of products here and I love to find them. And I love to find the antique tools. This is one place you can find tools a lot of times that you won't be able to find anywhere else. So let's go on back to the tool and hardware section and see what we can dig up. Now, here's part of the hardware section. As you can see, they have a wide variety and too much for me to go through right now. But if you're looking for hinges, oops, uh, hinges, doorknobs, almost any kind of hardware, you're going to be able to find a wide variety here at the Habitat for Humanity, and I can guarantee you it's going to be a lot less than what you're going to pay in the hardware store. There is a place for hardware stores too, don't get me wrong, but if you can find it used and recycled and for less money, isn't that a better deal? That's what I think. Well, let's go on and see what else we might be able to find. So you can see over here, also, they have, oh man, I've got to come back when I have more time uh, because they have new selections all the time. They're always adding and putting out every single day. Now, we got in here early today. That's why there's no one in here. I never get to be here when it's open. This was a wonderfully planned trip so that I could be almost a single shopper. All right, let's see. And even if I don't buy anything on this trip, I'll at least see what's here, and I'll be here later on before I leave today. They're here till 6 o'clock, so you've got 9 to 6, uh, Tuesday through Saturday. Now, I've bought lots of china cabinets from here. They have an excellent selection almost all the time. And your TV stands, they have a good selection of those. Look at the price, $75. What a deal for a beautiful little china cabinet with glass doors. 
Here's one for 125 and as you can see, it's blue, so it's 25% off. Wow, look at what the quality. Beautiful. Nice glass shelves. Where could you get that kind of deal in a retail store? Very few places. As I was mentioning all the chairs, look at the variety of chairs. Now, these are wooden. A lot of these are wooden chairs, some of them antique. $5 a piece. Uh, it, it's incredible, five dollars, and you can look for the color of the day. This one's fifty, but it's twenty-five percent off. So you can find the deal if you look. Now I missed out on these. These sold before I could get here yesterday. These are paving blocks. These went for a dollar a piece. I would have bought the whole pallet like the person did. What a deal that was. But, like I mentioned to you before, when you're thrifting, you never know what you're going to find. So if you see something and you think you want it, you need to move on it right then because it won't be here after someone else sees it because typically they only get one of a kind items. Now they may get many of a variety of items like chairs, but typically you're never going to find or not often going to find the exact item, especially if it's antique or collectible. So if you see it, get it. Here we are at, it looks like the wires and electronics section. The sections move a little bit from time to time depending on how much um, comes out and the space that's needed. Also you can find, see some small picture frames down here. They have a great selection of books. Now, the books and DVDs, they're so cheap. You can get two books for a dollar. Where can you get that kind of deal? And all different kinds of books. So come and check out their selection. They could use your business, like all of us could, and you will benefit by your uh, uh, saving money and getting such terrific deals on anything that you buy. We're just going to come back to this section in a minute. I've left my cart behind. I know I'm not going to be able to shop today. There's too many things that excite me. So I'm going to just follow through with you so that you can see what kind of deals are here. And you can judge for yourself if you want to come down and invest some of your money in products that help other people to sustain their uh, uh, life through the organization of humanity, uh, uh, Habitat for Humanity. I see some items here that a lot of people could use. Now here is an attic ladder, a hundred dollars. Where could you get that kind of deal? Nowhere else but Habitat. Some for your um, Rain, drains, two dollars a piece, I'm telling you. But one of the key things about thrifting is coming on a regular basis. I try and be vigilant about coming two to three times a week at least. Now you can see they have potting. You never know what they're going to have actually. Uh, they have a lot of printers right now. I kind of steer away from those kind of things just because it's harder to test. But if you need that kind of product, I'm sure they would help you test it out and or give some kind of guarantee that it would work for you. Such a variety of items. Here is copy paper. Now if they had letter size, I'd go ahead and get all they had. But it doesn't seem like they have any letter size, so I'm going to pass on that. And I'm just perusing over kind of quickly. I don't like going through quickly. I normally like to spend quite a bit of time and look through their selection. But since I'm really not purchasing today, I'm just showing the kind of items that you could get at a great deal. Can you possibly see this item over here? This is a wonderful 
7 inch Craftsman table saw. I mean that is heavy duty. A hundred bucks. Now it is purple so it's not on sale. You could wait until it goes down but I have a feeling that one's not going to last at a hundred dollars. This is one of the few places you can still buy a micro used microwave oven. So they have a whole selection of microwave ovens and normally they have quite a few appliances. They have beautiful Samsung, I may have to buy these myself, washer and dryer, it looks like a set, 150 for an Admiral, looks like in excellent shape. Now I believe they have someone who checks out each one of these appliances and makes sure that they're functioning properly and if not I'm sure they'll be happy to assist you and make sure that it does work before you take it out. But one of the few places you can get large used appliances now. You know, the Salvation Army and Goodwill can't accommodate these type items because of their space. So this is one of the few outlets that you can come for this type of item. And I recommend you coming frequently because, as I mentioned, their inventory changes from day to day, minute to minute sometimes. Now, this is one of the few places also that you can find exercise equipment. Now, you have to understand, this kind of equipment, look it up on the internet. It's very expensive. It's hard to get shipped to you. You can come over here and get it for $75. Uh-oh, this is blue, so that's 25% off. What a deal. Now, it says tested in several different places, so... I believe them and I know that they would assist you in any kind of demonstration if you needed it. But where else can you get this kind of equipment for this kind of price? Nowhere. As I mentioned, the other two thrift stores, which I like a lot also, in fact we're going to be going to Salvation Army from here, but these can only be found here now. I don't see them at the Salvation Army, I don't see them at the Goodwill, or very seldom. Now let's go, you have appliances, you can see you're not going to find a lot of these bigger items anywhere else. They also have a huge selection of lighting. Most places can't accommodate lighting equipment, so they may have one or two chandeliers or one or two lamps or maybe even a, a row of lamps, but not a whole back wall full of lighting. So if you're looking to uh, replace some of your lighting and or you want to uh, look for an updated or even a vintage type lighting fixture, this is the place to come. We've bought lots of crystal chandeliers here. That's one of my favorites. So as soon as I see a crystal chandelier, I'm on it. And as I was mentioning, they have a lot of different lawn type equipments. These are almost all corded or cordless, and I'll have to come back for those because I like the corded and the cordless, cordless products. I use those almost exclusively. In fact, I'm probably going to stop taking gasoline products in my pawn shop this year. They're too messy and too environmentally unfriendly. We passed the hardware section without hardly even looking, but if you take time to look through, you can find a number of items that uh, you might be able to use in your home and probably at much less than what you would find in the hardware or the retail store. Let's go over on to this aisle, which is mostly floor covering. You have a section of tile, you have a section of wood flooring, and also you're going to find some unusual items that you won't find anywhere else. There's a set of spinners. Now that's unusual, but if you needed them, there's a good uh, deal on them. You can see variety. They have such a variety of floor covering and tile, very reasonably priced. Now, because of space, they put items just about everywhere. Here's a uh, dog house, a dog kennel. So you need to go down every aisle and check every space. Like I mentioned before, 
the neat part about thrifting is it's not like the box stores where you know where everything is. This is a treasure find. This is like mining for gold or diamonds, if you will, because when you find that one or two special items that you couldn't find anywhere else, maybe you didn't even know you were looking for it, but once you find it, it's like, wow, I can't believe I found that and found it here and at that price. So let's go on down and see what else we can find. Well, need a new toilet? Look, $35 and it's blue, so it's 25% off. It looks like most all of these toilets are 25% off. You have a wonderful selection of cabinets. So if you needed just a single cabinet or if you wanted a combination, many times they'll have a complete set of cabinetry that was taking, taken out of a home and it's still refurbishable, but it wasn't desirable from a former owner. So take a chance, take, a, uh, take the time to look through their selection, check out the item, make sure it's not damaged. Occasionally the item will be damaged and if it is, don't be bashful about negotiating. I've learned over the years that almost any of the thrift stores will negotiate with you. Now, you can't necessarily get a clerk to negotiate with you, but if you get the manager, typically they want to make the sale, and if they realize it's going to be a hard sell because of the condition of the item, or for whatever reason, if you just want to try and negotiate. What the heck? Why not? I do all the time. If I feel it's a little overpriced for whatever reason, or I just don't want to pay that much, I don't have any reservation about going ahead and trying to negotiate. I don't care where I'm at. So let's go on. This is one of my favorite sections over here, which is the window and doors. Okay, here we are at the window and door section. I happened to see a table over here. It was $50, marked down to $25. Uh, let's see what it says. Uh, something about flying legs or... But for $25, that's a steal. I'm going to go ahead and get the tag, take it up to the counter on our way out. We'll pay for the item, and I'll pick it up later when I bring my truck. Let's go on down, though, and see what other treasures we can find. And it looks like they added another section of ventilated shelving. Now, this product is pretty expensive in the hardware store. I don't see pricing on it right now, so I'd have to ask. But remember, negotiate. So let's go down and see what else we might be able to find. I've purchased a lot of doors here. In fact, just two weeks ago, I purchased four of what's called the French doors. Let's see if I see some of those. Well, they're the ones with the eight um, or more wind glass window panes, all wood. I think three of the four had hardware on them. Now, they were priced at one price, but I was able to negotiate a better price for all four. And I won't go into detail right now, but that's my secret, but I'm telling you, to use your negotiating skills to negotiate on this type product. They get a lot of these in and they would really rather move them than keep them. Now sometimes they can't go lower for whatever reason. Only they know what their inventory is. But I found that on the majority of items that I've been able to talk about a negotiation, they've accepted my negotiating price. So. I'm just passing that along to you because this is me to you trying to help you learn how to do thrifting not only for pleasure but now maybe for profit too. So let's go on down and see what else they have. Okay, these are the French type doors I was talking to you about. Now this is a half wood, half glass, but again, $30. $30, 40 
all of these are French type, what well, I call French type doors because they all have the glass. Now, I'm going to be showing you how when you purchase this type product, you can put them together and make display walls that you can use in your thrift store, in your uh, antique store, or in your flea market store, which I'm going to be promoting in the next couple weeks at the West Bowden, Georgia flea market. So this is what I was talking about, but they also have a great selection of interior wood doors. Wonderful selection, $25, very cheap, and based on the date. Now, keeping in mind that because they put dates on here, that gives you a negotiating tool. So if it's been here for a while, you can almost be assured they're going to negotiate. Now, if it just came out, maybe not. But if it's got an older date on it, and I always look for the best item with the oldest date and or on sale first. Now, this is their newest section. This is their carpet section. I normally don't buy carpet new like this, so this does not interest me at all. It does not interest me at all. But they all are colored items, so you can uh, bet that they may go on sale at some point in time. But these are look like new products, um, but again, not something I'm really interested in. But they have something for everybody here, so make sure you check it out. And there's church pews over here. Can you possibly pan over here and see church pews? This is an item that would make a a neat item for your uh, man cave, she cave. You could accommodate a lot of guests if you were having a barbecue. Just some ideas for unusual items that you might find at the thrift store. We appreciate you coming out and uh, watching our program today. We hope that you'll come to the uh, Habitat for Humanity resale store. They're located at 216 Bullsboro Drive, almost right across the street from my pawn shop, Coweta Pond. And as I mentioned, I'm here almost every week, at least two or three times, because the more often and frequent that you shop, the more opportunity you are to find those treasures before somebody else does. Let's go to the desk. We'll see who's at the front desk today. And we'll pay for our item and be on our way to Salvation Army. Hi, Tracy. Hey, how are you? Here we are. We're going to pay for our item. Miss Tracy is the smiling cashier, although you can't see it behind her mask. I know she is smiling. <laughs> and we're going to go ahead and pay for that and get this great deal. Are you rounding up? I am. And see, she knows me. I like to always round up here, although they usually don't ask. I usually uh, volunteer because I like Habitat for Humanity. They're one of my favorite of all of the thrift stores and of the charities. Okay, did I go through? Yep. Okay. And then sign with and your finger. Sign. All right. Now we don't have anything to pick up today, so we're going to go on to the Salvation Army and do our next program, but. They will allow you how many days on a pickup? Usually 24 hours. They ask that you pick up any of the large items uh, within 24 hours, but they'll make exception uh, if you need to, I'm sure, mm -hmm. yeah. uh, because they want new customers and they want satisfied customers, just like I do. Okay, here we are at the Salvation Army. We're going to go in and see what kind of treasures we can find here today. Come on in. Oh, oh, already sold. Well, let's see what else we can find here today. They always have a wide variety. They've even got a showcase up here, $99. Well, I don't need a showcase right now, so I'm not going to go for that. Uh, Terminator Collection. Now, that might be a good buy. Let's look on. 
This is their exercise equipment. They just don't have the room. Well, they do have another exercise machine over here, too. So you do have a little bit of a variety on the exercise. You have, ooh, something new. Nice little wooden boxes. You could uh, paint them or use them any way you want. $1.99 each. That's a very good price. 99 cents on terrarium planter. These are excellent for, I think, the um, beta fishes, if I'm not mistaken. One of my favorite things to look for, of course, is their bone china. I typically will be able to find one or two pieces almost every time I come. Last time I was here, however, they had, oh, probably 10 pieces of bone china and at 59 cents a piece. That was such a deal, I couldn't pass it up. Now this is a nice little pitcher for $3.99. I don't see any markings on it, so I think I'm going to wait. Let's see, it's orange today. So I'm going to put that back and wait for Green Day on that, and I might come back and get it when it's green. Okay, let's see if I can find anything in orange. I'm just a sucker for the sales. I don't know why, but I just am. Here's an item I can't pass up. It's a metal mirror, and oval shape, in great shape as far as the mirroring itself. Sometimes they'll get uh, spots on them, so it makes it hard to replace. This one's in great shape, and for five bucks, four ninety-nine, all metal. I can easily paint that any color I want. That's a great buy. So I'm going to go ahead and pick that up right now, so I don't miss out on it. Let's go over here on the shelving and see if there's any items that I can pick up that I might want to try and resell and or just for the pleasure of it all. You know, I do a lot just for the pleasure because I feel like I'm helping a worthy organization and I'm helping myself because we find items that we wouldn't be able to locate anywhere else nowadays unless it's in an antique shop or a collectible shop. Now this one's $2.99. That is a beautiful hand cut glass dish. But, you know, I've got hundreds of pieces and I'm going to leave, oh, $1.99. I don't know that I can pass that one up. I may have to just get that one. I always run my hand along the edge. I know that may be a little dangerous, but I want to make sure there's no cracks or chips in the glass because that's what happens on a lot of these pieces. So you just have to check it out. I can't pass that one up. And because it's really a set, I'm going to have to get both of them. So let's go ahead. Even though it's not half price day on those, I'm going to get them anyway. It's just too good a deal to pass up. And let's see what else we might be able to find on the shelf. Now you have to look good because a lot of times things will be hiding back in little nooks or crannies. That's why I mentioned to bring your flashlight. Now I forgot mine today, so <laughs> preaching to the choir I guess you say, but uh, I don't really need it in Salvation Army. They're pretty well lit so you can see all of the aisles. But a lot of times you have to just look down and see what it is and as I mentioned in a previous episode, a lot of times people will just put things underneath so they can come back later when it's half price day. I don't know why, but they do. And as you saw, they have quite a few small appliances. They don't have the room for the large appliances like Habitat did, but they have such a good variety, and especially clothing. They have a special dealing, deal on clothing also, which we're going to tell you about as soon as we get to the register. I'm going to let Kelly or Margie tell you about that. But uh, if you purchase one of their red bags, you get a special deal on clothing. So we'll talk about that when we get to the register. Let's go on down this aisle and see what else we might be able to find. Now this is an area I normally pass up because it's shoes and clothing. I'm not a big clothing person at a thrift store, although they have a great selection here and normally They'll have a basket out there with shoes for 99 cents. So if you come on their 99 cent uh, a day, you can get shoes for as little as 99 cents. Otherwise, they have a really nice selection. 
to have really nice, clean, displayed clothing. As I mentioned, that's not one of my items that I normally look for, but they do sell a lot of clothing, so they must have a good selection. Now, of course, my favorite area in the shops is always the shelving, which houses all kinds of neat items. Now, you don't want to miss any of it, so you want to look carefully and make sure that you don't miss any treasures. And let's see, remember the color of the day is orange, so if I find any orange items, that's going to be 50% off. So. I don't see anything that stands out over here. Yeah. Now, they have a real nice book collection. Check with their sale of the week. This week, shoes are half price and books are 25 cents. Sometimes they even have them as low as 10 cents, but right now they're 25 cents. That's still a steal. And they have a great selection of all different kind of books. I mean, you can find on any sub, practically any subject. Now these are nice, a lot of them, <laughs> hardbound books for 25 cents. They have a great selection of DVDs. Now they just put out a bunch of games. I'm going to have to I spend the time because very seldom do they get so many games in. And again, it does take some time because you want to look in, you want to make sure they're not scratched. They have their games at one price. I'm not for that um, process, but I understand because of the volume of products that they get that they can't take the time to necessarily price each item. But I'll do that in my shop, and some items I won't make any money on. But it does help having a different game that I didn't have before. So I'm excited about finding all of these. I'm telling you, uh, I typically go here first because this is one of my big money makers in my pawn shop it are games and game systems. Now they seldom have the game systems, but many times they will have. Oh, that's a game, but it doesn't have all of the items that I need. I want the original case. I want the original uh, labels because that makes it more valuable. When you look these up on the internet for pricing them, people will pay more if they are complete in the box. It's called CIB as opposed to just loose. So I try and make sure that all of mine that I purchased are complete in the box and I'm trying to look, multitask and look for some. Here we are at the register. This is the manager, Sarita. So if you have any questions that one of the helpful cashiers like Kelly can't answer, Sarita will be happy to answer that for you. Look at all the treasures that I got today. I can't wait to check out. As I mentioned, these games, I can't find anymore. I can't find them at Habitat. They don't sell them at Goodwill anymore. So when I see them on the shelf, I'm snapping them up. So you better beat me here if you want a good deal. <laughs> All right, I finished my purchase, but I wanted to bring to your attention a special deal that Salvation Army offers. And Sarita is gonna tell you a little bit more about that. Sarita, would yes. you please tell the audience? If you buy a red bag here at the Salvation Army for $2, you get 20% off on each clothing item. And then on Wednesdays, if you're 55 and older, you can buy one, get one free on all of our clothing items. So you wanna get these and you can use this also at our LaGrange location. What a great deal. So if you want additional savings 
at your Salvation Army store, make sure you stop by the register. Pick one of these up before you do your shopping. You can do it afterwards, of course, and still get the deal, but you got to buy it before you check out. So come to the uh, Salvation Army. This is at 670 Jefferson Street. Well, we're leaving after another successful day at the Salvation Army. I can't believe how many items I got and the prices that, that I paid. You saw me at the register. What a deal. Well, thanks again for tuning in to this episode of Thrifting for Profit and Pleasure. We look to see you next week. Until then, happy trails and good luck in your treasure finds.